Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I had to try to compile a couple different videos together because I kept having a video idea and then not accomplishing the video. Um, the one I had was pretty cool. It was at this lake here. Um, I got good footage. The conditions were perfect, but I just could not catch a fish. And the video idea here was to make a pizza out of a trout. So basically just putting trout on a pizza was the video idea. And I spent a good five, six hours on the, on the lake that day trying to just catch a single trout so that I could throw it on the pizza oven that I got. So I brought a pizza oven all the way out to the lake. I had everything prepared to do it. I just was unsuccessful. And so I waited till the next week. Um, I went out with a different idea. I went to go try to um, make trout tacos. I was just trying to make a catch and cook. And of course, on the one time I want to actually cook a fish, I could not catch a fish for the life of me. Fished there all morning, got there first light, did everything I could. The conditions weren't as good and just could not catch a fish. I caught two little perch that are right here. Um, they were the size of my finger probably. So not worth really keeping unless they were a little bit bigger. So because both catch and cooks failed, I thought, you know, I need to just at least catch a fish here. Messaged some of my other friends and they were actually doing a photo shoot at the uh, river here. It's the Provo River. It's ended up just syncing up with them, got rid of the ice fishing stuff, threw on the Euro nymphing stuff and uh, went and fished what are called egg patterns. So we were fishing a slush egg. Five minutes into being at the river, I caught a fish. Oh, fish on. There we go. See, I just spent five hours fishing. And I've been here for five minutes. And I caught a fish. Yeah, I had a big fish. Got a big boy. Oh, look at that. Got this nice brown right here. Let's take a look. Pliers, so it's gonna be kind of hard to get out. Pop this right out. And so that's all we're using. This is called a slush egg. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> right through my net. Uh -oh. So I got this hole in my net. <laughs> which felt nice compared to the last two weekends in a row, being out for eight hours, not catching anything. Um, but I can't be the only one. I mean, I might be the only one posting about not catching any fish, but for me, it's pretty often to put in all this effort to get out there and not catch a fish. With this channel, it's pushed me to try to fish different areas that I maybe have never gone to before to just see what'll happen. You never know when you go to a lake, what kind of fish you might get into. But anyways, here's some of those clips here. Um, I did catch, get into two nice browns and I'll throw those in right here. Look at this one go. Wow. I turned on the GoPro just late. I didn't get the hook set. Oh man, these fish sure are pretty. Look at that. Oh, hey buddy. So check that out. Not big. This river has restrictions on the size you can keep. And this is probably the size I could keep, but I don't have a measuring tape or anything. So I don't want to take a fish that's the wrong size, but I would love to make some fish tacos out of that guy. Look at that view. All right, let's let you go, buddy. Bye, nerd. And it ended up being a, a good day overall. I'll be going out again soon, so stay tuned subscribe since you've made it this far in the video again and we'll see what we get into.